today we are going to discuss about morphology of stem in our previous video we discussed about root and its modification so what is stem stem is ascending part of main axis of a plant in flowering plant it bears branches leaves flowers and fruits on it what is the identifying feature of a stem so stem has nodes and internodes on it okay so what is node the point from where leaf emerge out that point is called node and gap between two consecutive node that is called internode here in this picture it is the point from where the leaf that comes out and gap between two these two points this point is called node second point is also node and gap between two that is called internode so it is identifying feature of a stem while the root as we already discussed that that is devoid of root uh, nodes and internodes so identifying feature of stem is presence of nodes and internodes on it now forms of stem so stem that may be aerial aerial means usually it grows upright it grows towards upward direction it may be subaerial subaerial means a part of stem that may be buried beneath the soil and a part is above the ground hence the name subaerial or underground means the stem which grows under the soil so first type of stem first form of stem that is aerial stem it is further divided into three types first type under aerial stem which usually grow which is usually upright first type of aerial stem is reduced stem sometimes the aerial stem that get reduced to small disc like structure and nodes and internodes are not distinguishable here in case of carrot even in radish the stem that is present here this colored part it is the underground root these are the leaves between the root and leaves the structure reduced form of stem that is present and in case of onion and garlic stem is present at the base reduced stem that is present in the form of small disc like structure and adv adventitious roots they emerge out from this disc like structure in case of aquatic plants reduced stem reduced discoid stem that is green and become flattened to float on surface of water example is lamina second type of aerial stem that is erect stem it is the commonest type of aerial stem these stems are strong to remain erect or upright without any external help without any external support they remain erect example is maize wheat mango etc and if erect stem that has nodes and internodes on it and stem that appears like it is a jointed stem that type of stem is called culm erect stem with distinct nodes distinct nodes and internodes and nodes are get swollen giving the stem a jointed appearance such type of stem they are called culm and example is bamboo okay clearly you can see the nodes and internodes and the node part that gets swollen and give the stem appearance like a jointed stem example is bamboo unbranched erect stem if branch if there is no branch on a stem it is erect so unbranched erect stem that is called caudex or columnar so example of caudex or columnar stem is coconut and palm tree okay main stem that remains unbranched and bears a crown of leaves at the top such type of stem is called caudex or columnar next category under erect stem is excurrent excurrent type of stem in this stem the main stem that is trunk like okay it is thickest at the base in excurrent type of stem it is thickest at the base but it becomes 
narrow it become tapers towards the apex branches they arise in acropetal succession acropetal succession means the younger branches they lies towards the top and older branches they lies towards the base so in case of x current erect stem they have branches but branches they present in acropetal manner means younger they towards the top and older branches towards the base tree appear cone shaped example of x current is pinus fourth category under erect stem is deliquescent deliquescent the apical bud means the terminal bud at the top apical bud of main stem that is weak as compared to the buds of lateral branches means the main trunk that grows up to certain height after that the branches the lateral branches they become prominent and spreading so main stem that grows up to certain height after which it gives several branches those branches dominate by giving the branches of several order whole tree look like dome shaped example is banyan tree uh, that is ficus bengalensis uh, the uh, complete tree that appears like a dome shape okay so these all are types under erect stem erect stem is second category under aerial stem erect stem are those which are commonest type of aerial stem third form of stem that is weak stem first to be already discussed that was first one reduced under aerial stem reduced stem we discussed okay erect stem we already discussed now the third category that is weak stem so under weak stem first of all what is weak stem weak stem they are thin soft delicate and cannot stand erect without some help means they need help to grow okay first type under weak stem that is trailers trailers are those stem which grows horizontally along the ground without rooting at intervals there is no root formation at interval if you notice that the st stem that spread horizontally along the ground without rooting at intervals example of trailer that is euphorbia prostrata and second type under this twiners twiners these stems are weak long flexible but these stem they coil around a support around an upright support like a rope so such type of stems they are called twiners example is hirankuri scientific name is convol convolvulus arvensis and third type under weak stem that is creepers creepers they root at intervals they shows root root formation at intervals which differentiate it from trailers in case of trailers the stem that spread horizontally on the ground but without any rooting at intervals while in case of creepers there is at particular intervals there is formation of roots creepers they are further divided into three types that is runner stolon offset runner example is dove grass okay and uh, second type that is stolon stolon example is jasmine third that is offset offset it is present in water hyacinth water hyacinth is commonly called terror of bengal so trailers twiners creepers under creepers there are three examples runner stolon offset fourth type that is creepers after creepers there is climbers in case of climbers the stem that is weak and flexible but stem is unable to coil around support by itself for climbing around the support what it needs it needs certain structures certain clasping or clinging structures under climbers first category that is scramblers or ramblers 
scramblers or ramblers these are weak stemmed plants and slowly they grow over other bushes and rest there they attain this position with the help of curved prickles spines and leaflet hooks example is asparagus toxantha and bougainvillea so scramblers or ramblers they grow over other bushes and rest there after that how they attain this position they attain this position with the help of certain helping structures uh, certain clinging structures which are prickles spines or leaflet hooks next type that is tendril climbers okay tendril climbers tendrils they are specialized climbing organs which are capable of growing spirally around a support and help the shoot to climb up they may be modified stem stem branches leaves leaf parts different examples of tendril climbers are there tendrils these are the thread like structures we studied in class 10 about the tendrils these are small thread like structures which help a stem to climb up around a support example of tendril climber is cucurbita pisum setibum that is pea plant gloriosa it's a cucurbit which is showing the tendril these structures these thread like structures they are tendrils these tendrils help this stem to climb up around a support so tendrils they may be modification of stem they mod they may be formed from branches they may be formed from leaves later on you will study about modifications of different structures into tendril okay so here in cucurbita it is the tendril which help the stem to grow upward or uh, around a support stem in case of root climbers next category is root climber stem that cling to the support by adventitious roots and example is ev tecoma even the pothos in case of pothos root climbers are there then next is lions these are woody climbers they are found in deep forest when they reach to the top they get sunlight they become woody example of lianas that is begonia ficus bohonia tinospora tinospora we already discussed in case of root okay so these are the climbers tendril climber root climbers lianas scramblers or ramblers in next video we will discuss about modification of stem to perform different functions